Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Today I'm gonna be unboxing two amazing value for money Dior items. So if you love timeless Dior items but don't want to completely break the bank, then you need to see these items. You guys know that I get really excited whenever I find these gems of value for money items and I get really excited to share them with you. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, do consider doing so so that I can share more of these finds with you as well. These were not exactly the items that have been on my wish list but I will get into the backstory as to why I decided to get them a little bit later but first let's unbox them and see what we've got. The first item is in this box here. It was an online order and I had to actually open it up to make sure that the size was right. There's your first hint. Look how cute this box is and Dior packaging is always just so beautiful and I'm just going to slide this item out to show you guys, I actually picked up a Dior t-shirt. It is just a very simple and classic looking t-shirt that just says Dior in this beautiful gold stitching. I just think the detail is really beautiful. So the reason I said that you had to see these purchases is because guess how much it was? 480 Australian dollars. And I think that's something like 300 US dollars. So let me just share with you how this came about. So this is actually size 12 from the children's department. So it is actually meant for girls 12 years of age. And I did play a little bit of a gamble with the sizing. The girl sizes go up to size 13, but the size 13 wasn't available online. So I took the chance and got the size 12. But when I tried it on, I was very happy that it was the perfect size for me. I think the size 13 would have even been a little bit big on me. So as you can see, the size 12 actually is quite a generous size. I'm not the smallest person, but the size 12 I think works quite well. And it even has one size larger, which is a size 13. So if I wanted a more relaxed look, I could have really gone for the 13, except it was sold out. But if I'm adding another Dior shirt from the girls department, I think I can totally, you know, try out the size 13. So yeah, this is how the fit looks like on me. And I am 164 centimeters tall and I normally wear an Australian size 6 to 8. If you are slightly on the petite side or if you have like a bit of a flat chest like me, then I would definitely recommend that you check out the girls section on Dior.com. And I was browsing the Dior website for some other styles as well. There are plenty of other t-shirt designs under the girls section, which all range from about 400 to about 600 Australian dollars. So I would say definitely check it out. I reckon someone who's slightly bigger than me even could fit into a size 13. You guys are probably sick of me talking about my upcoming European holiday, but I have to mention, I think this will be so cute on my holiday. I can just style it so many different ways. I can wear it really casually with a pair of denim shorts, jeans, or dress it up slightly with some pleated skirts. So yes, expect to see some Instagram outfit posts where I style this baby up. Also wanted to mention the cotton feels really quite nice. It's actually quite thick. I always check the material because do you remember when those big Gucci logo t-shirts were really trending? I remember going into a Gucci store and looking at one of those t-shirts and I was so underwhelmed by the quality. It was so thin so I'm quite happy with this material here it feels thick enough but not way too thick because obviously it's meant to be a t-shirt I've always wanted a Dior t-shirt that's just easy to wear that will be timeless but I just didn't want to pay the price of 1400 Australian dollars that is how much uh, you know the most basic Dior t-shirts go for the women's ones so when I came across this I just had to snap it up and I need to give credit where credit is due. So I actually first came across this on one of my good Instagram friends who also live in Sydney, Miss Rach. If you don't follow her Instagram, make sure you follow. She has amazing Hermes items and she styles everything so nicely. So I saw one of her Instagram stories or posts where she was wearing this. So thank you Rach for opening my eyes to this amazing value for money item. Anyways, I'm so happy I finally have a very classic timeless looking Dior t-shirt that I got for 480 Australian dollars. So definitely do check it out. Now, moving on to our second item. I also think that this is an amazing value for money purchase. I didn't obviously have this on my radar, but when I came across it, I just had to do it. And let me get into it, show you what I got again, and we can chit chat about what made me decide to get one of these. So, you know what, actually, 
this is my very first Dior bag type of purchase. Anyway, the ribbon is so beautiful. Packed up all nicely with the Dior sticker again. You can see the dust bag. Do you guys want to make a guess what might be in this dust bag before I reveal it? I don't think any of you will actually guess. All right, are you guys ready? You can see the Dior Oblique. Ta-da! I got myself a Dior Montaigne Oblique pouch. So this is actually a toiletry pouch sort of a shape. Anyway, let me show you this item in detail. As you can see, it's actually quite similar to the Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch in size and shape. So we all know that we love using our Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch 26 as a little handheld clutch bag. And I thought this was even better. I'll get into the pricing a little bit later, but I can tell you that this was actually cheaper than the Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch 26, which at the moment retails for over 1500 Australian dollars. First of all, the Dior Jacquard in this oblique print is just a much more luxurious material than something like a coated canvas. So this is actually embroidered and you still have the beautiful leather trim. The size actually looks quite substantial. I'll also show you how much I can fit in this pouch a little bit later in the video as well. And it's quite structured, which makes it substantial enough to use as a little clutch bag. And wait for it, when you open it, there is actually a little wristlet. That also means that there is an actual little D-ring inside the pouch where you can actually clip a longer gold chain or something to make this into a little shoulder bag. Guys, slight correction with this. This is actually not a wristlet, but it looks like a little strap that you can attach to the inside of your larger bags. It definitely can't fit your wrist through that tiny little loop but because of this little attachment the pouch actually has a little deering inside so if you remove this you can attach a little wristlet there without needing another bag insert with a hook also you can use a gold chain to feed through this and feed under here and make it into a shoulder bag that is a lot more dressy and this is what I mean I've just attached a gold chain from a different bag and then what I'm gonna do I'm going to feed the chain through to the other side of the pouch under the zipper like this. and then I'm gonna come around and attach the other side of the chain to that D-ring. There we are. Let me zip this pouch up and show you and voila this is the cutest little shoulder bag now. Obviously, you can get a whole lot of different chains from eBay, Etsy. I am obsessed with this little bag. So you don't even need one of those um, insert conversion kits with the two the little D-rings to convert this into a little shoulder bag. Thanks to the little D-ring that's there where the strap was attached. So this is the kind of outfit that I will use this pouch as a evening bag with. So I've just got my all-time classic March navy dress. Just looks so effortless. I just love the look of the Dior pouch as a shoulder chain bag with this simple evening outfit. And inside is actually quite simple. It's just one big compartment with a little slip pocket at the back. And then you've got three little credit card slots, even though I don't think I'll actually use those credit card slots because this is big enough for even a full-sized wallet. So I just thought this was such a great item. I think this will make for a really great poolside pouch bag. And you can even dress it up, like I said, with a gold chain and you can use it as a little evening bag. So I think this will be so versatile. And I think this will fit a lot more than a typical mini bag that can cost a lot more than this. And you know, when you dress up a toiletry pouch from Louis Vuitton into a little bag, it kind of does look a little inexpensive. It looks a little bit like you're just trying to turn a pouch into a bag. But this one here, in my opinion, wouldn't do that because the jacquard is obviously really beautiful. And the CD logo at the front just makes this look a lot more like an actual bag. 
And this is it side by side with the Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch size 26. We can all agree that the Dior looks a lot more like an actual bag. The oblique jacquard really pops. I also just realized how the Dior pouch edges are done with this leather trim. It makes this pouch look much better as a bag versus the more basic stitching finish on the Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch edges. But the sizes are pretty comparable. And then on the side, they are very, very similar. So I wanted to quickly show you that little comparison. So I am now going to tell you the price of it. This was 1,350 Australian dollars. And when I checked Dior, the US website, they didn't have it, but I actually checked the French website and it was 800 euros. I mean, can you believe that you can get something so bad looking, something that is so substantial that looks quite you know luxurious for less than say a thousand us dollars or a thousand euros i think this is such a good deal so a little story time as to how i came across this you guys know that i actually had the dior book tote on my sort of wish list and there was this specific one that i really really wanted but when i went into the store they didn't have that one they had some other prints and when i tried the dior book tote i realized it is a really instagrammable bag they are beautiful but when I'm on my holiday, but when I come back home, I don't think it's something that I'm gonna use day to day. First of all, it's just so rigid. It's quite large, cause I don't want the tiny little size cause in the book tote, what's the point in getting a small size if you're gonna get that sort of a look? I think it has to be at least the size medium, but I just don't think it'll be a very practical bag. I'd rather use one of my, you know, normal flexible, comfortable totes, like my favorite daily battle totes from Varela Parch. So I'd much rather do that and save my $5,000 on a book tote. So I realized what I was actually really craving was to own a piece of item that has this beautiful Dior oblique jacquard. So I started looking on the Dior website and I found this and I went into the store and asked for one. The Dior sales associate that helped me on the day, she actually said she can't believe they have one in stock because they never ever have this. But the only reason they had one in stock is because a customer ordered it and she couldn't pick it up. So the sales associate just had to release it to me. So lucky me. Now let me show you what fits in the Dior pouch. Obviously you can fit a lot more than these, but this is basically all I carry on a daily basis. So I've got my mini wallet, which is the Kelly pocket. And then I've got my compact, little BB cream compact. And as you can see, I've got little bits and pieces. I've got a lipstick, a hand cream, AirPods, and a car key. That is basically all I need, but you can definitely fit a pair of sunglasses and actually a lot more. I think you can even fit an extra pouch in there. So very, very generous size. I'd love to know what you think about these two items. Do share your opinions in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this double unboxing. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you so much for watching and spending some of your precious time with me today. And I can't wait to see you again soon in my next video. Bye guys.